What's up guys, I have another knife from Spartan Blades to show you. First one I showed you guys was the Defensa. Okay, all the Spartan Blades, all the Harzy Spartan Blades are fantastic. These are all Harzy Spartan Blades I've, sh I've showed you. The Defensa is the first one I showed you, did a great job. Next one guys was the Kukri. Pretty much one of my favorite Kukris out there, American made. This one did an awesome job. Great chopper, just a great all around camp knife. And finally guys, from the professional edition line of Spartan Blades, the Spartan Harzy Nesmic knife. Everything about this screams outdoors and bushcraft. You've seen some Nesmic style knives out there in the past. There's a lot of companies, including Tops, that make some Nesmic style knives. But what is a Nesmic style knife? Now for you long time knife owners, you know what a Nesmic is. It's a specific type of styling that has pretty much gone down in history in terms of a very unique type of geometric. But for those of you who don't really know what a Nesmic style knife is, I'm gonna let you know exactly where it is and where it came from. George Washington Sears lived in the 1800s. He authored many interesting publications on the importance of being one with nature and the outdoors. Going by the pen name, Nesmic. He wrote of a knife that was relatively easy to make, had a deep belly, a rounded spay point, about nine inches long with a very comfortable handle. A knife the way he envisioned an outdoor knife to be. Among American bushcrafters, he has been considered a pioneer in the craft of bushcrafting. And so the Nesmic design gained its name and its popularity saw a resurgence in modern times, capturing the design and essence and the mastery of woodcraft in the Nesmic design knife. So guys, let me butt in real quick. If you like this type of video, a like, a share, and subscribe. If you're not subscribed already, we'll definitely go a long way. Help me out of my venture to 10,000 subs. I definitely need your help to get there. So definitely give me a like, give me a share, give me a subscribe, so I'll keep on getting these videos to you. Now, something that I must highlight whenever I have a Spartan Blades on my channel, you cannot ignore the design of William Harsey and the execution, the expert execution of the artisans of K-Bar and Spartan Blades. I mean, these knives are pretty much just like museum style knives. They're flawless, the fit and finish is fantastic. They just look great, they feel great. They are just a pleasure to own you know that you have quality in hand as soon as you put them in your hand for the first time. I mean, look guys, it starts with the beautifully made Kydex sheet, made in the USA, proudly sporting the Spartan blade symbol right on the sheet itself. It's a smooth, nice execution. It's got all the Molly compatible attachments that you can do whatever you need to do with them. It is not a compression hold. It's actually a button lock hold, which means, and you don't even need such a good hold that you don't even need that Velcro strap that's attached to it because you can basically with considerable force, try to force this thing out of the sheath and you can't get it out unless you release that button lock and i'm a big fan of that it's got a nice system to it uh, maybe it's not for everybody i just think it's done with really high quality in mind and it's just an all-around great sheath and it does its job it fits snugly it looks great it fits great it's just nothing more than you need it has a velcro belt belt strap so this way you don't need to remove your belt in order to remove the knife from your belt you don't have to take your belt off Listen guys, you could call me a fanboy, that's fine. But I have to tell you, these William Harsey design knives in collaboration with Spartan Blades and K-Ball for that matter, I, they just they just give me a great vibe. I get really good vibes from all of these knives. I mean, you know they look good. You know they had the fit and finish is great. American quality type of fit and finish. But man, oh man, when you hold these things in your hand, they just melt into your hand. The extreme comfort you get from the handles and the way the handles are contoured, I would venture to say probably a knife in a knife of this size, these are probably some of the most comfortable handles you ever hold. The extreme balance of the knife between the blade and the handle is just so apparent as soon as you hold this Nesmic in your hand for the first time, I felt it. I felt it immediately. No hot spots, perfect rounded handle. Now what makes this handle great, you really have to notice the swell in the middle of the handle when you hold it from the side. You see that large swell? When that is done well, when that is done basically in conjunction with an actual human hand, that's the type of handle that's kind of probably gonna be the most comfortable that you can hold. And they do that swell really well. It fills in your hand extremely well. And that's just what makes it so comfortable. But this is like a black injection molded handle. I don't know what that means, but damn if I tell you, it, look, it feels pretty freaking good in the hand. It's ribbed for her pleasure. 
feels good in the hand. You can grip it. Doesn't slip out of your hand if your hands are wet. It just, it's really well done. Being 10 inch overall, it fits the original classic American Nesmic design. It's got a 5.1 inch 1095 Crow Van steel from K Bar. Now, I have a lot of faith and rely reliance on Crow Van steel. I've used 1095 Crow Van, and it is a fantastic steel. With a 56 to 58 HRC, it's got great edge retention, but it's also going to stand to basically high impact. Black powdered coated finish. It's not PVD, but it did stand up well enough to basically to, you know, resist scratches or anything like that. It was okay. And you're gonna see basically this 0.6 pounds, under one pound, how much of an impact it could actually make because of that Nesmic style geometry on the blade. I gotta say, from the look and feel and actually using this knife, which you're gonna see in the cutting video coming up next, if I had to have a, a top five designer list, William Halsey would definitely be on the upper echelon of that top five in terms of uh, my favorite designers out there today. Now, what is this Nesmic style knife made for? Is it a fighting knife or a self-defense knife? No. Although anyone with a, any sense in their head would know anything with a sharp edge and a point can be a knife you can defend yourself with and it'll do that job, but that's not what it's made for. No, this Nesmic style knife originally conceived, the geometric of this knife was made to be a wood carving king, it was made to be a bush crafting tool. I've held a couple of different type of geometrics in my hand to this point, and I have to say I was very impressed with the way this knife was designed. It's, it's a simple design. It looks like it was actually made by accident, but that humpback swell along with the really large rounded belly tends to be excellent for wood carving. You could use different portions of the blade to do different types of carving. I found this knife to be an excellent feather sticker, especially in the portion of the blade closest to the handle. That portion of the blade works as good as like a, an old fashioned kukri style works. And then you have the belly close to the point, which also can act as a good chopper. I found that this knife could be many different things as a really a true multi versatile tool. I was just very, very impressed with the performance of the knife out of the box, the sharpness level as all Spartan blades are from the factory is very, very sharp. And I'll show you also how sharp this thing still is after all of the abuse that I put it through. Now, is this Nesmic style knife a chopper? Well, it's under six pounds, it de definitely acts like a chopper. I mean, that large swell between the top and bottom on the front of the blade by the point, it just pulverizes wood. It just acts as a great impact. Now, I took this about four minute, around four minute clip. It took about four minutes to get through this four by four piece of uh, lumber here. And uh, I sped it up by over a thousand points or something like that just to show you how much abuse I really put this edge through. I mean, I was really banging the crap out of this thing as hard as I could, really to get through it as much as I could. With a little rest, it took me about four minutes or so, but I gotta tell you, at the end of the day, this thing really just act like a chopper, a lot larger than what the knife would entail it to be. Really did a good job. Again, multi-versatile. So can you baton with a Nesmic style knife? Shit, yeah. I don't know if it's the Crovan steel or if it's the geometric of the Nesmic style or this knife build, whatever it is. This knife is a silent pulverizer of wood. I mean, it definitely handled so much more than the weight of this knife would insist that it can do. It's definitely a batoning 
demon and I'm convinced it has to do with that swell in the front top and bottom of the knife the same way it's a chopper it's the same way it's going to be a very resilient and good baton now if you have been watching my channel for a while you know that I test and I push my knives unlike my desktop hand model friends of YouTube that I love so much I put action to my words I test the knives and I show you the build quality I don't just tell you about it I show you how good the build quality is the build quality of this knife and all Spartan blades I've tested is very well done and is very resilient to hard use. Now we have to beat in the living crap out of this knife and put in so much pressure on the point, the edge, and everything like that, every part of the blade. I still continue to cut with it. I was very impressed with the edge retention of this Crow Van 1095 steel. Now, I don't know if they just really, K Bar is getting so good at working with this steel, but this is probably some of the best edge retention I've seen on a Crow Van style knife uh, that I've used in the past. Because you can see it's still slicing sharp and it's still able to handle everything it needs to handle, even with all of the insane pressure that I put on the point and the edge, I was still continuing to cut with it. Now stick around at the end of this video, I'm going to have a dedication fire because all of the feather sticking and all the wood processing I did with this knife, I definitely saved it. I'm definitely going to burn it up at the end as well. But it just it just continued to work, continued to cut, continued to make up notches for me, spear points, you know, camp style stuff that you would need it to do for you. This knife can definitely handle all of the bushcrafting stuff that you're going to need to throw at it. That's what it's made for, among other things. Damn, guys, I, I gotta say, I think I kind of saved the best for last. I mean, in terms of wood processing, geometry, geometric of this Nesmic blade, there's so many different ways you can basically hold this knife, so many different parts of the blade you can do different things with it. This is, in terms of wood processing, this was the best. Everything from, from fine feather sticking to, the, to every portion of the blade to, to being a basically a really good chopping type of knife. You can baton with it very well. You can slice with it very well. You can hit it against wood and process large pieces of wood with it. A, an all around amazing knife. This is probably one of the best all around knives I've used from Spartan Blades and from any knife in terms of also, I, I think it attributes to the fact that it is a Nesmic style knife. So I'm, I'm actually very, very impressed with the ease of preparation of wood. And I'm gonna end this off with a fire for you that this knife accomplished throughout the entire review and throughout the entire use was really, really extraordinary. I was very, very impressed with this knife. Another great design from Harzi and another great execution from Spartan Blades. I mean, what else can I say? I don't know, you guys decide, but this thing, it did a hell of a freaking job. This is definitely a hell of a knife. I would definitely, without a doubt, use this. This will definitely be at my side in terms of a camping trip because this did an amazing job of processing wood. And I gotta tell you, it could keep on going and going even further. So as promised, all of the wood shavings, all the wood carving, with a little fat wood also thrown on top of there, just basically burning it up for you. This fire is dedicated to my, my Southern neighbors, my Floridians, North Carolina, and among other areas that have been impacted and affected by the hurricane season in this year this fire is dedicated to you and this fire also burning is in, is dedicated to anyone that had suffered losses with these devastating hurricanes that this country's been been hit with of late and of course on a lighter note i have to mention my new york yankees are in the playoffs right now so this fire is burning bright to bring you back to the fall classic where you guys belong so guys this is the nesmic knife from spartan blades a fantastic knife great job have a great one, guys, and thanks for watching, and please enjoy the fire.